Last year, Germany celebrated after their national men's soccer team won the FIFA World Cup. The squad boasted many world-class players, thanks in no small part to Schalke Mulfia's football academy. The World Cup's golden glove, Manuel Neuer, and ever-present centre-back, Benedikt Hervides, came through the German club's academy, as did playmaker Mesut Özil and winger Julian Draxler. Transworld Sport headed to Germany to find out more about the secrets behind Schalke's success. The academy's administrative director is Till Beckmann. Schalke 04 had a um Schalke 04 has a great and long tradition in developing good football players. It's something that the whole club is proud of, from the staff to the fans. On the one hand, it takes a lot of courage from the coaches here to throw these young players in at the deep end. But, on the other hand, the youth system we have is very strong. So, when the players make their way up to the senior team, they are ready and trained, so they don't lose their way once they're given their debut. They're able to adapt to the level of the Bundesliga. Schalke's stadium and training complex is based in the town of Gelsenkirchen in Germany's Ruhr Valley. Throughout the 20th century, it was one of Europe's most important coal mining towns, a history to which the club pays homage. Their home ground, the Feltins Arena, was completed in 2001 and designed with an industrial theme. The player's tunnel replicates a coal mine and is dimly lit to intimidate the opposition. The stadium also features cutting-edge engineering. The roof retracts, as does the pitch, which is kept outside in the sunlight. Schalke's youth academy is nicknamed Die Knappenschmiede, or the Miner's Forge. In recent years, it's become one of Germany's most productive football factories. Much like the model adopted by Spanish club Barcelona, Schalke's academy places a big emphasis on tactical training. However, the coaches also embrace each player's individual strengths and push them to find their own distinct style. Jürgen Luginger is one of the academy's longest serving coaches. We do individualised training with the young players and we also give them lots of technical and tactical challenges so that they are prepared when they start playing in the Bundesliga or on the international stage. We also try to instil in the boys a certain character, one with a considerable amount of perseverance. Because if you want to play at the top, you need the mental strength and the perseverance to push on. And that's what we try to give the players in order to take them to the next level. Since their foundation in 1904, Schalke have won seven German championships, five German cups and the UEFA Cup. However, their last top flight domestic league title came over half a century ago, in 1958. The fans are longing for Bundesliga glory, but given the relative spending power of the likes of Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund, it's an achievement in itself that Schalke have consistently finished near the top of the table. Over the past 10 years, they've qualified for European competition nine times. Last season in the UEFA Champions League, they almost knocked out defending champions Real Madrid in the round of 16, after coming back from a home defeat to win 4-3 at the Bernabeu. Nine academy graduates were in the squad that day, including 20-year-old Khan Ihan. When you take a look at the return leg, with quite a lot of young players on the field and in the squad, it was kind of like a football fairy tale. It's a wonder that we won there. On the one hand, you're glad that something like that happened, that you were able to celebrate victory over Real Madrid. But, on the other hand, it left a bitter taste, as we missed out on the next round by just one goal. One player looking to emulate the likes of Khan Ihan in the next few years is 16-year-old striker Felix Kefebitz. He scored 19 goals in 23 games for the under-17 team last season. 
I've been playing football since I was six years old. It's something close to my heart, and it's always been that way. I'm proud to be playing for such a club. Of course, the responsibility that comes with playing for Schalke is big, and it helps to boost your profile. Not to mention your self-esteem when you're back home. A physically strong player who possesses a good turn of pace, Felix is one of the academy's hottest young talents. He's clinical in front of goal, and the coaches here are excited about his future. But they're adamant that if he's to make it as a professional, he must supplement his raw ability with hard work in training. We have so many talented players at the under-17 level, one of which for sure is Felix Kefferbitz. However, just like all the other players at the academy, Felix is someone who has got a lot to learn and improve in his game. Nevertheless, he has huge potential, and if he works well with his coaches, he has every chance to turn professional. Whilst Felix is tipped for great things, he, like every other youth player at the club, is encouraged to study hard should things not work out in football. Schalke provide a comprehensive education for their youngsters and also house them in a shared dorm, where they're looked after by a live-in family. By boarding together, the players develop a strong rapport and understanding off the field. In recent years, this relationship has translated onto the pitch as a whole generation of players have graduated to the senior team together, including the likes of Max Meyer and Leon Goretzka. I think that, especially for the young players, it is important to have a strong family atmosphere so that they feel comfortable. They can then make good progress on the field. It helps when the players live together and when they are looked after well. All in all, it's important that the young players, well, all of the players in their respective teams, know and live the philosophy, traditions and values of Schalke. The more players that follow these principles and buy into our philosophy, the better the resulting team. I think that the unity in the senior team has its foundations in the fact that lots of the players have come through the youth academy. They are brought up with our values and can pass them on to any new players. Not all the youngsters here will go on to become professional footballers, but Schalke provide their players with the kind of foundations that are so valuable in life. Given the academy's success in recent years, though, don't be surprised to see Felix Kefferbitz or one of his teammates gracing the Bundesliga or the German national team in the not-so-distant future. Of course you hope that one of the players manages to make the big leap all the way to the top. But that's something you can't take for granted. It's a difficult path for every single player and involves a lot of hard work. It's a great honour if the club produces players who then go on to represent the national team. And that's what's distinguished Schalke in recent years. Looking to the future, in the next year or two, I want to continue making my way through the youth teams. I want to learn as much as possible from the coaches at this level. In the long term, if possible, I want to become a professional for Schalke. I would love to play the World Cup too, and even win the competition. It's my goal, no matter how far-fetched it sounds. Keep an eye out for Felix Kefferbitz at the 2022 World Cup. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.